بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So moving on now, we want to discuss the last characteristic of the verb. So what do you say? Nouns have the characteristics of ding, definite, indefinite, arab, number, and gender. And the cheesy uh, code for remembering the characteristics of a verb is what? Voting. Vo is for voice. T is for tense. Uh, I is for arab. N is for negation and affirmation. And G is for gender. So we're doing the voice now. What does voice mean? According to the voice, you can have two types of words. Active and passive. What does active mean? The active means that the subject is doing the action. What does it mean? That the subject is doing the action. So let's take an example. The thief stole the bike. Who's the, who's the subject in here? The thief. What is he doing? Stealing. He's doing the stealing. So this kind of thing is called active voice. Why? Because he is doing the stealing. Make sense? What's he doing? He's doing the stealing. So we call this the active voice. Yes? Okay? Yes? And in Arabic, the active voice is called what? Fa'lun ma'lumun. What's it called? Fa'lun ma'lumun. What's fa'lun ma'lumun in English? Active voice. And how do you define the active voice? That verb in which the subject is doing the action. He's doing the stealing. He's doing the sitting. He's doing the hitting. He's doing the seeing. Okay. And the opposite of that is the passive voice. What's the opposite? Passive voice. Okay. This is where the subject is not doing the action. The action is being done to him. The bike was stolen. Is the bike doing the stealing? No, the stealing is happening on the bike. Do you understand? So what do you call this in English? Passive voice. Meaning, the subject is not doing the action, the action is happening on the subject. Do you understand? What do you call this? Passive voice. And in Arabic, what do you call this? Fa'lun majhulun. Okay, so, what's active voice? Explain active voice to me. Where the subject is mentioned and he's doing the action and the passive voice is where the action is happening on the subject yes are you understanding so is is a, is the bike doing the stealing or stealing happening to the bike so that's why it's passive voice here yeah. the stealing happens to him another example for example if you say uh, the boy <coughs> alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so here, look. in example number one, the action, the, the subject is doing the action, isn't he? And the, and the second one, the action was taking place on the, on the subject. The hitting happened to the boy. The boy was hit. So this is called what? What's number one? Active. And that's called what? Fa'lun. Ma'lumun. And the second is called what? Passive. Ay, fa'lun. Majhulun. Make sense? Do you understand? Have you understood? Okay. It's called fa'lun. Majhulun. So far, so good. So active voice, fa'lun. Ma'lumun. Passive voice, fa'lun. Majhulun. Active voice, subject does the action. Passive voice, action happens to the subject. Okay? Now, by default, the verbs that you have in the table on the vocabulary are all active voice. What are they? The active voice. The ones that are there are active voice. Now, how do you change the active to the passive? It depends. Is it mazi or is it mudari? If it's mazi, so to make the mazi into majhul, fa'lun majhul, what do you do? Number one, you leave. You give the second last letter a kasra. Okay? So, I, so what you do first of all, let's just go through it here. So rule number one, you leave the last letter. So for example, ba'atha, you leave ba'atha, you transfer across here, ba'atha. Same sir, yes? Second last letter, you give it a what? Kasra. So you give the ayn what? 
Alhamdulillah. <coughs> so this becomes what now? E. And then after that, you give everything else a dhamma. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> now ba becomes now bu. So bu itha. Razaqa, leave that as it is. Make that to a kasra. Give that a dhamma. Ruziqa. Aqta, leave the last letter as it is. Let's take a fatha. Then you give the second last letter a kasra. And give the fatha a dhamma. Uqtiya. That becomes the ma maazi. Okay? That's maazi majhul. For example, look. Zalama becomes dhulima. Sami'a becomes sumi'a. Ja'ala ju'ila. And sa'ala becomes su'ila. And as you do this in saraf, it becomes easier for you as you go along. But that's a basic rule. You got it? So, so what happens? How do you work out? Leave that as it is. Change that to a kasra and give that a dhamma. You following? Okay. Uh, this is a mistake here. Yeah. Mudari, you leave the last letter as it is. Or you could, yeah. And you give the first a dhamma and the second letter a fatha. Simple. Let me give you an example here. What do you do? Second last letter, you give a fatha. That already has a fatha, isn't it? So nothing, and the first you give a dhamma. That's already a fatha, that becomes a dhamma. So ba'atha, you ya ba'athu becomes you ba'athu. Ya ruzuku, you give this by a fatha, give that a, it becomes you ruzaku. Yu'ti, you give that a fatha, and that's already a dhamma, so it becomes yu'tay, but it comes yu'ta. You do that a bit later on, but simply. Do you understand? So for example, yu'ti becomes Yu'ta Yunzilu becomes Yunzalu Yab'athu becomes Yub'athu And Yakhluku becomes Yukhlaku So what do you do here? You make that a dhamma Make that a fatha Yukhlaku That's the passive voice Are you following me? Yes? Everybody with me? Now How do we translate the passive voice? So the passive voice If you look at it Has two elements Normally if you have an active voice, for example, spell Sami'a means Sami'a to hear. So Sami'a, Sami'a Zaidun, Zaid heard. Yes? Sami'a Khalidun, Khalid heard. So you have the, you have the one Khalid and you have a hear. When you have an, a passive voice, there are two elements. You see this here? It's called the auxiliary verb. Okay? Yes, make sense? Okay? Yes? So what happens now? The bike was stolen. The bike is... So what happens now? The was, is, is being and will be. What happens now? The auxiliary verb, the auxiliary verb, that changes tense. So was shows past tense, is shows present tense, is being shows present continuous, and will be shows what? Future. And this, the main verb, that stays the same all the time. That doesn't change. So you can't say, oh, this is past tense or stolen. It's like it was. So let's say, for example, let's say for the daraba, to hit. So if I say, duriba, what does duriba mean? Is that past? You say what? Was. Hit. Yudrabu is hit. Or is being hit. And future will be? Will? No, but it's a passive voice. So will be hit. If you say will hit, that means that he's going to do it himself. If you say you will be fed, that means what? The feed will happen to you. You will feed, you will do the feeding. The you hit, you will hit. Who's going to do the hitting? You, and you will be hit. Someone else will hit you. Do you understand? So that's why you have the, the translation. You got it here. You following me? Okay. And this is a rule, but you don't really need this. So let's try this. For example, here, aqta zaidun. Okay. First of all, is aqta the active voice or passive voice? Is it ma'luma majhul aqta? 
it's ma'lum. How? Because we know it. How do we know? It's not dhamma. A ma'zi has to have a dhamma, doesn't it, at the beginning? If it's majhul. Is it majhul? Is it a dhamma, majhul, a dhamma here? No. So it's an active voice. How do you say a'ta zaydun? A'ta means to? Give. So a'ta zaydun? Zayd gave. So you say Zayd. Zayd gave. And this a'ta is fa'lun. Ma'lumun. Active voice. Yes? U'tiya Zaydun. What kind of verb is U'tiya? Fa'lun ma'lumun or fa'lun majhulun? Fa'lun majhulun. Fa'lun majhulun. Yes? Fa'lun majhulun. What's called? What's called? Passive voice. Now, U'tiya Zaydun. How do you translate this? How do you translate this? Zaid was given. Meaning the giving happened to Zaid. He didn't do the giving. Zaid. Zaid was given. You following? Yab'athullah. Yab'athullah. Translate that one. Allah sent. Or Allah resurrected. Or Allah will resurrect. Is it Allah will resurrect. So Allah will resurrect. Is it active or passive? Um, What's that called in Arabic? Fa'lun um, ma'lum. Um, yes? It's fa'lun ma'lum, an active voice. Pas um, fa'lun ma'lum. If it's majhul, yuba'athul iba. What's this? Active or passive? Passive. And what's that called in Arabic? Fa'lun um, majhul. How do you translate this? So Allah will res. I'm gonna get caught off here. My spelling resurrect. Doesn't matter. I'm not teaching Arabic, not English. G. You be asul ibad. The servants. That's up here now. Will be. So will be is future tense and the resurrect is the past tense. You see this is what fa'lun? Majhul. Anzalallah. Translation Anzalallah. Anzalat to reveal. So Anzalallah. Allah reveal. And unzil al Quran. The Quran was revealed. So one is fa'lun, this is fa'lun ma'loom, fa'lun majhul. You got it? So now we finish off a categorization of verbs. So we have here, isam fa'lun harf, fa'lun have a tense. What are the three tenses? Al madhi, al mudari, al amr. Madhi is which tense? Past tense. Al mudari is which tense? Present, either continuous or habitual. Or it can, also, uh, it can also be future. And Amr is what? A command. Then we have A'rab. A'rab, either Mu'rab or Mabini. What's Mabini? Mabini and Al-Amr. And what's uh, Mu'rab? Mudari. And what three states can the Mudari come in? Marfu' Mansub, Mazum. And then we have, after that, we have affirmation negation. If it's affirmation, it's called what? <laughs> Muthbat. And if it's negation, it's called? Manfi. And ma Muthbat, what's, what's Manfi? What's the signs of Manfi? Ma, Lam, La, Lan. Ma is for present and for the Mazi and Mudari. When Ma comes on a Mazi, it makes it negative. When it comes on a Mudari, it makes it negative in which tense? Ma and a Mudari. Present, not future. La? Present and future. Lam on a mudari? Past tense. Lam on a mudari? Future, but with also a bit of emphasis. Then gender, it can either be muzakkar or mu'annath. How do you make it mu'annath? You add ta, sakin at the end, or ta the beginning for mudari. And then we have voice, it can either be fa'lun, 
Ma'lumun or fa'lun? Majhulun. And ma'lum is called the active voice and majhul is called the passive voice. So alhamdulillah we finish off our second type of nouns. We had second type of word. We had ism, D-I-N-G. And now we have verbs, V-O-T-I-N-G. Yes? Correct? Any questions? Have you understood? And then we'll go on to harf next, inshaAllah. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, wa bihamdika, wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta, wa nastaghfiruka, wa natubu ilayhi.